Hey guys, just a quick update on the hypermelanistic. Um, have some bad news. It's a long story. Um, we thought it was a male. It was sold to us as a male. Turns out it was a female. Um, bred her. She locked uh, four times. Everything looked good. She started putting on weight. And then kind of like stopped. And she had laid her litter and um, one stillborn and one that is barely alive has a really weird kink in this neck. Um, I doubt it'll last the day. Not really uh, the update we wanted to give, but um, we wanted to show you, um, you know, the real deal about what can happen. Breeding animals isn't always, you know, excitement and success. Um, they kind of do their own thing. So um, I'm gonna get her cleaned up, um, back in her real enclosure, which is these big guys over here, we pull them off the uh, the bedding when they're about to lay so that you saw the mess in there, the uh, babies will eat the egg sacs and we mentioned it in our last video, substrate and things can get stuck to it and you don't want them eating that, so uh, have them on paper over here, um, we'll clean it up, She's she looks empty to me, um, so you know, two babies, uh, both both no good. So uh, hopefully we'll get her back eating and keep her healthy all year and we'll try again next year. Just got a shipment in from Cold Blooded Cafe. A buddy Forrest over there. Hook this up. Some frozen rats. Packed, clean, solid as a rock. That's cool. And still rock hard. Probably could have made another couple of these. Pretty impressive. So, yeah, thanks, Forrest. So, we're super excited. We had a big litter of Northerns two nights ago, and then Easterns today. All right guys, just came back home from work, and I hear some skittering going on in one of these cages. I checked the Northerns, and no babies there. So I think our Eastern may have had some babies today. Let's check it out. Okay. For sure, some babies in here. And I'm not sure if she's done. There's a glare coming from the window. Uh, she could still be giving birth. She's shedding already. Beautiful Eastern babies. First litter. I'm not sure if she's done. Looks like it's flat. Probably done. See the one with a problem. This guy. This one. Big baby. This is a
So I'm gonna show you what the babies look like and I'm super excited. So here's a beautiful little baby that was just born a couple days ago. They're real cool. I'm not gonna really poke around too much with them, but they're real beautiful. Look at this little guy. They're so tiny. So awesome. And we have a special little guy here. We're gonna call him Nipsey because he got his tail nipped off before we realized that the mother had the babies. So it's just a little tiny nip at the very end. He'll be fine, he's gonna grow up just fine and that tail will regen. But, what an amazing animal. We really like blue tongue skinks here and uh, I'll show you one of the reasons why. Look at this little northern here. I'll pull him out. This one's just beautiful. Just beautiful. Look at that. Look at that tongue go. It's awesome. These things are so cool. This one's so orange and it's still just only a couple days old. So uh, it'll be coloring up beautifully. I'm super excited, super stoked. And this one will be likely a keeper. <laughs> so we got a bunch of Easterns as well. You can see the shed is starting to come off. This is their first time, so you can see some of that. But these guys were just born today. All right, look at this beauty. Born today, look how small they are. Amazing. You can see some of the shed is starting to come off. And um, they're already drinking and they'll be getting offered food in a few days. See how that works out. Man, these guys are so awesome. Healthy little runts running around. 